In 1983, a few partners and I started a new company which taught time management seminars and created and sold day planners. Two employees in our distribution center would prepare and ship several boxes of training materials. With so many seminar shipments, these two employees would often commit errors. Then something critical happened. The director of training for a large multinational corporation attended one of our seminars and was so thrilled with it that she invited us to teach a pilot seminar to its top executives. On the day of the seminar, our consultant arrived and discovered that the seminar guidebooks were missing. Our consultant did the best he could by making sure each participant was given a pad of paper on which to take notes throughout the day, and the seminar turned out reasonably well even without the guidebook. Extremely embarrassed and angry, their training director called our seminar division and said, "You will never teach here again. How could you have made such an embarrassing and inexcusable error with our pilot seminar?" An upset senior vice president of our seminar division called me and said, "We're about to lose a million-dollar account because of the distribution center's errors. We simply can't tolerate any more errors." After pondering possible solutions, I decided to implement an incentive system to motivate these two men to be more careful. With the first error, they not only lost one dollar, but the first one hundred dollar bonus. If they made a second error, they lost the second one hundred dollar bonus. I also told them, if there is an error, you will lose your bonus, regardless of where that error originates. You are one hundred percent responsible for that shipment. That's not fair. What happens if the binder division commits errors in prepackaging the individual seminar kits? You can't blame us for their mistakes. You will lose your bonus. I once again responded. That isn't fair. Well, it may not seem fair, but that's life. You will lose your bonus. They now understood that they could no longer blame, make excuses, or justify errors, even when they were right and it was someone else's fault. What happened next was fascinating to observe. When they would receive an order from the seminar division, they would call the seminar division up to review the form with them, item by item. They took responsibility for correcting any errors committed by the seminar division. They began sending the shipment three or four days earlier than their previous routine. A few days before the seminar, they would call the client company to verify receipt of the shipment and the contents. Errors finally stopped, and they began to earn their bonus month after month. Being 100% responsible is accepting yourself as the person in control of your life.